Hey guys, I'm Alan from Growace, and as promised from last week, I'm going to show you how to set up a master reservoir. Plus, as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to set up a reverse osmosis system. This is going to make irrigating any system a hundred times easier, plus you'll get the benefits of clean filtered water straight from your house. With the reverse osmosis system, you're going to get a near 0% 100 parts per million uh, filtered water that's going to take out any contaminant that you would normally get from filtered water. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this project we'll need a faucet diverter. I'm using a 5564 because that's what fits onto my faucet and the other outlet is a quarter inch. You'll also need a pump, a garden hose, a floating shutoff valve, a 1 inch to 3 fourths adapter, and an MIT thread adapter, a big plastic trash can, and of course our reverse osmosis filter. First I took out the aerator on my faucet and replaced it with the diverter. The diverter will allow you to send water straight to your filter. Next we'll prep our reverse osmosis system by putting the filter that it comes with into the top housing. After, we'll work on a reservoir. Drill a hole at the top that's big enough to fit your floating shutoff valve. Then go ahead and fit the valve through the hole. Secure the valve in place with the plastic nut that it comes with. Then attach the hose adapter to the valve as well. Great, your reverse osmosis filter should come with three colored hoses. Take the blue hose and insert it into the end of your floating valve. Next, take your white hose and plug it into the faucet diverter. This is your input line. And with the black hose, insert it into the drain. Your filtration system is now fully functional. To turn it on, simply turn on your faucet and pull on the tab to send water through the system. We can use a PPM meter to check the difference between the filtered water and the tap water. Our filtered water only has 7 PPMs, while the tap water is at 218. Next we'll fit the adapter onto our pump, so we can attach our garden hose to it. After you're done, put the pump into your reservoir and now you can pump filtered water straight into your irrigation system. I hope that video was informative. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I will answer them. <laughs> and also please hit the like and subscribe button for me to stay up to date with all the videos that we're coming out with. I'm Alan from Growace. Keep growing guys. <laughs>